Hello YouTube and welcome back to Virtual Worlds Ableton tutorial series. In this video we're going to be taking a look at automation, a quick guide to how to implement automation successfully into your track. Okay let's get started. First of all you can have one have a sample loaded up or a MIDI sequence. We're going to, I've got a basic drum beat here on 8 bars and a melody I've created at 8 bars. We'll click the melody one and I've loaded in a sample into simpler. And all we're going to be doing today is automating the volume so it goes up and down in volume. Not necessarily what you want, but it'll give you an idea how to apply automation to any effect. Any effect, whether it be a dial, most, of, most dials uh, options can be automated. So what we'll do, we'll go to the volume, we'll right click, then we'll go to show automation. You can have show automation in a new lane if you want, but I just like show automation. As you can see, it's got this red bar here. We'll right click, we'll select one bar, so we'll do it on one bar, then press B for your pencil tool, or click up here for your pencil tool, and then, since it's on minus 12 decibels, that's where it sets the level when you click show automation, whatever it's set on down there, so that's 12 decibels, then if you click it up here, it shows you where, it tells you how many decibels it goes up. So if we go up to, if we hold down shift, we can get a greater degree of control over it. So we'll go up, 6.5 then we'll go down to minus 25 then we'll go all the way up to the top all the way down to the bottom all the way up here down there a little bit then and down there even more now if you play it back watch it see that little volume dial now it's got a little red dot next to it that means it's been automated and you'll see this needle this this dial here begin to move when we play back and if you want to get rid of the automation you right click and you click delete automation now watch when we play it back watch this little icon down here this little dial as it moves as we all there we go you see that it's now automating it and if you if you didn't like that, you can delete it by right clicking like I showed you before, click delete automation and I'll take you back to where you was previously. If we now set it to say something like zero decibels, which is a maximum before it starts clipping, and we click right click and go to show automation, you can see this thin red line has now moved up a little bit because it's set the default to where we've got our volume, which is zero decibels. And if we move this one down all the way quiet, then this one all the way to loud. Watch what happens. And that's how to successfully automate. Bear in mind you can do this with pretty much anything you want. But just by right clicking on the dial or the, the option screen. What you want. You right click you go to show automation. Or if you want it in a new lane you go show automation in a new lane. And it opens up a new lane down here for you. Thank you very much for watching YouTube. If you've liked this video at all or it's been useful, please give it a like. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. Be safe, be lucky, and have a great day. Virtual Worlds, signing out.